pray that Jesus doesn't whip us into shape like a drill sergeant. I don't mean that negatively if there's any drill sergeants listening. What I do mean is that how God approaches submission is wholly different. There are those times when he will allow us to make mistakes. He will allow our own sin or even the sin of others to bring a chastening into our life so that we'll come back to him. But we want to have this picture of God not as uh, a mean ogre in heaven that's far off, but rather a personal God that is close. And listen, the reality is you and I are going to make mistakes in our Christian life, aren't we? You and I are going to have times where we turn away from God. You know what? Because of our position. What I mean by that is because of how Christ sees us, because of how the Father sees us in Christ would be a better way to say it. Because of how the Father sees us in Christ, we can go back to Him with a simple confession, an agreement that what we did was wrong. And through all of it, because God sees us in Christ, we're already forgiven. It's already done. He, it's as if a child, and I, I, I've had this happen with my boys over the years, they did something that was wrong. Maybe it even cost me financially, but you know what? I looked at it, and I instantly forgave them most of the time. Okay, not all the time. I tried to instantly forgive them. <laughs> and when they came to me and said, Dad, I'm sorry, I could look at them and say, you know what? You're already forgiven. I love you. Now, there might be a consequence for it. Uh, they might not be able to escape the very reality that they did something wrong. Make sure our mind was right, because it's just a windshield. It can be repaired. And then we went back, and of course he said he was sorry. He was scared. But you know what? He was already forgiven before we even talked with him. Now, is there a physical consequence? Oh, yeah. He worked all summer to pay for that windshield repair. That was a real consequence for what he had done. But he was already forgiven. You see, you and I may do things that in this life will bring consequence, but we need to understand that Jesus has already forgiven us. And there's compassion because of who he is. And that's what's so incredible about our God. Listen, maintaining childlike faith is not something that we do as an act of religion. In fact, it's impossible to create childlike faith falsely. You can't, uh, uh, you, you can't just manufacture or assert some childlike faith. Childlike faith requires humility. As John said, he must increase, I must decrease. And it's in that childlike faith that we...